Welcome to Session Sunday. Hi guys, it's Jack Edwards and this week we're focusing on pre-season drills. But before we get into this week's video, make sure to leave us a like and subscribe. And if you missed last week's video, click on the link above. Okay, so moving into the first part of this week's session, we're going to be focusing on an SAQ based drill. But before we get into it, let's have a look at how many players we're working with this week and the equipment that we'll be using. So we're going to have a group of six, okay, but you can increase that for more players as well. And then obviously if you have a bigger group of players, you can just look to split them into different groups, okay. In terms of equipment, we're just going to be focusing on using balls and cones, okay. And then if you have poles or mannequins to use as well, you can do so. Now, in terms of the setup for the first part of the session, you're going to have five yards in between each cone. So five, 10, 15. Okay. And obviously you don't really need any width and you're going to split your group into, so if you've got six into groups of threes, if you've got eight, you can put it into groups of, into groups of fours and so forth. Now it's going to be focusing on sprinting and turning both with and without the ball. So the player will start here and they'll sprint to the five yard line, back, retrieve the ball, sprint to the five yard line with the ball, back, then leave the ball. Sprint to the 10 yard line without the ball, come back, retrieve the ball, sprint to the 10 yard line with the ball, turn. Once they get back, leave it again. Sprint to the 15 yard line, back, retrieve the ball, sprint to the 15 yard line, leave it the ball there, run, move to the back of the queue, and then the next player will do the same. So you could do every player goes twice or three times, okay, because they're getting a little bit of rest in between each rep. And then you could look to make it a competition if you wanted to as well with the other teams, okay? So again, focusing on attacking that space, okay? We're controlling the body shape, okay? Slowing down when we're turning, okay? Making sure we're not cheating, make sure we're getting to the line each time. When we retrieve the ball, stay in control of the ball. When we're turning, stay in control, okay? So we're using both feet, slowing down to be able to turn, okay? Not getting ahead of ourselves and losing control of the ball, especially when we're tired, when we go into those further distances as well. We will now move into our first animation before moving on to part two of this week's session. Okay, now moving into part two of this week's session, we're going to work on a conditioning based drill now. So you can do this both with and without the ball as well. We're going to start off without the ball. So we're focusing on accelerating in space, slowing down to transition and change our movements. Okay, so how it's going to start is with our distances here. Okay, so we're going to go for 20 yards of depth, but you can increase that as well if you want to, to 25 or 30. I'm going to start off just with 20. So you're going to have 20 yards of there and 10 yards of here, and then the width, 10 yards either side as well, so 20 yards. How it starts is the player will sprint up to the furthest cone here, okay, and then they're going to transition to a back pedal, okay. As they back pedal around this middle cone here, they burst out to the outside and turn, sprint across the other side and turn, and then straight back to the start. As they get back to the start, the next player goes, okay. If you wanted to, so there's a little bit less rest time, once the player starts moving past that middle cone there, okay, the next player can go. So then by, they by the time they turn and get back to here, this player will already be halfway okay, into their set. And then when this comes around here, the next player can go. So you could do that if you had more players as well. okay. Uh, and also, like I say, if you want the players to do more reps. So again, accelerate in space, slow themselves down, transition to the back pedal, okay, move around. So again, nice neat footwork to move around, retain that low body shape when turning. Burst out into space, again, turning nice and sharply to make a swift, efficient turn and then again accelerate into space and you can also bring the balls in as well and you could do, after, after each player's done maybe two reps or ev after every rep, turn and go the opposite way so then you can come up here, go around the left hand side instead, round and back again. Okay, so it's focusing on attacking that space but staying in control when turning so we can move swiftly, okay, to then accelerate once again. We will now move into our next animation before moving on to the final part of this week's session.
Okay, so moving into the final part of this week's session, we're now going to move into a technical bass drill. Okay, so you can do this with groups of three. Okay, you increase it to four and then even increase it to five and just have players waiting at the ends. Okay, so in terms of the distances, you're just going to have five yards, okay, in between each one. So 10 yards in total. So five yards to here, five yards to there because it's quite a, um, quite a sharp technical drill. It's all first time passing. So how it will start is the player with the ball passes to the central player who sets it across the other side, okay, for the, for the player to start to, to receive the ball again. Then this player will take their place. As this player receives the ball back, this player will move out. They receive it, okay, and then this player makes their way to the middle, okay, gets set back into them. They set across, so we're trying to do bounce passes around the defender, okay, and then they swap over again. So once this player plays in, they look to get themselves into that middle area quickly, set the ball around, so focusing on our accuracy and execution of our passes, and again, we keep doing the same. So once this player's played, it's time and movement to be able to meet that ball, okay, to take the pace off it, to set into space for the player to move on to, and then receive it back. After a set amount of time, you can swap and go the opposite way, okay? So then, obviously, we come the opposite side, and we'll go one, two, okay? Ball comes across here, set in, and the same again. One, two, ball comes across here, and then we play again. So, main thing as well is, obviously, if there's a bad pass or a bad touch, we just adapt to it, okay? And obviously, try to keep the tempo going and free-flowing. The players, with these short passes in here, you're not trying to blast the ball in, you're just looking to drop it in so that the tempo can stay and that the players can keep controlling the ball. Then you can get a little bit more pace on this pass, okay? So then, again, the tempo stays high, okay? And we're just looking to work around it. So making sure we're not just standing next to the cone or the pole, okay? Creating a little bit of space. So when we play into here, okay, and it gets set across, we can move around into space to then move on to the ball and play forward. We will now move into our final animation before concluding this week's session. Thanks for watching this week's video. Don't forget to head over to our website where you can view over a thousand session plans like this. And we'll see you next week for another Session Sunday.